Hello everyone, I'm Ibuki Kuroyanagi. In this presentation, I'd like to introduce an ensemble approach to a normal sound detection based on conformal-based autoencoder and binary classifier incorporated with metric learning. Our proposed system won first place in DKS 2021 Task 2. A normal sound detection is a task of identifying whether the sound emitted from a target machine is normal or anormal. It is very difficult for us to identify whether it is normal or anormal. However, it is difficult to correct anormal data comprehensively because these sounds rarely occur. The possible type of anormal sounds are very diverse. In addition, real world environments are often changing. Therefore, it is desirable to try an SD model without using anomalous data and to develop model that can detect anomalous sounds even when the normal state distribution is changed. The contribution of this research is that we propose two completely different SD methods which deal with domain shift. And we show that the performance of these two methods can be further improved by assembling these ensemble models. We assume that an autoencoder will not be able to accurately reconstruct anomalous data. So we use the conformer as an autoencoder. The training procedure is that first, we concatenate the integer section ID to the input features. Second, the autoencoder reconstructs the input features and the section ID. Third, we modified the reconstruction error based on the distribution of the error to improve accuracy by GMM. To boost the autoencode's performance, we apply spec augment and dropper for the input feature syncs not only during training, but also during inference. When we replicate the input sequence and apply different masking for each sequence, we calculate the reconstruction error for each sequence and integers, the result using pooling operation. This allows us to obtain the gain by using an ensemble model, even when using a single model. To further improve performance, we ensemble the model by selecting the n best models. To address the domain shift problem, we build separate reconstruction error scoring module for each section and each domain. This method is enable us to capture differences in the normal score range between the section and domains. The second component of our proposed method is a binary classification model using metric learning. The training procedure is that, first, we train binary classifier model using normal data as positive example and outlier data as pseudo-negative example. Second, to further improve the model, we use the deep double centroid system supervised anomaly detection, DDC SAD loss function, which considers the centroid of both the normal and, and outlier data. The objective of the DDC SAD loss function is to minimize intracross variance and maximize intercross variance. The performance of the binary classification method is less stable than that of the autoencoder method, since the binary classification method builds a different model for each section of data. Therefore, we create many models in order to improve the performance of the model ensemble. For example, we apply additional data augmentation such as Gaussian noise, volume control, and mix-up. We use additional loss function, arc phase, and we select different pseudo-negative example. We use various models. To address the domain shift problem, fine-tuning the model for the target domain. Then we create pseudo-target domain data by mix-up using source and target domain data. It is expected that the use of mix-up will increase variation within each class. Finally, we normalize the normal score of each of the two models 
to mean equal zero and variance equal one, and average the normalized course. We use the data set, which is used for DKS 2021 task two, for unsupervised anomalous sound detection under domain shift conditions. There are seven machine types, and each machine type has six section IDs. First, we focus on the result of development data. Our baseline method outperforms the official baseline in both of our methods. Second, we focus on the result of the evaluation data. VC ensemble outperforms AA ensemble for machine types, pump, slider, and valve, regardless of the domain. The sound generated is non stationary, such as creak. These results suggested that model performance tend to be influenced not only by machine type, but also by the type of abnormal sound present. Finally, these results show all of the proposed methods outperform all of the baseline methods with both state set, and that AE plus BC ensemble mix achieved the best performance. These results show that our proposed method performed well under domain shift conditions. Furthermore, we found that using an ensemble of the result from different AST model focusing on different features contribute to score improvement, since the output of the models complement each other. In conclusion, we propose an ensemble ASD approach using both a conformal based autoencoder and a binary classification model with metric learning. We found that using an ensemble model of the result from different ASD methods focusing on different features contribute to score improvement since the output of the model complement each other. In future work, we will develop a method that can obtain the better AST performance using fewer models. Thank you.